Hello, today I want to talk about a video that I made some weeks or like months ago and it's about the Oculus Rift S and back then I was quite um, immersed in it and I really really liked it and I would say like if it would work I would still like it, but I am at that point where I say again, it's not worth buying it. It is worth buying it if you are sure that you have a strong enough uh, computer and it, it can actually handle it. Um, for me, I have a laptop. I probably just repeat some things that I already said in, in that um, video. So I have an MSI gaming laptop and it's VR ready. And that was also a reason why I bought this laptop because I wanted to play VR. But the I had already many questions and I contacted Oculus so the company of the Rift is about many problems and their answer was well even if your laptop or your computer is VR ready it doesn't mean that it's Oculus ready and um, that was a bit of a shock because if, if there, there aren't like computers which say that they are Oculus ready. They have some on their web page which they think that they are good for the Oculus and tested them and say like, okay, these work. So you should get one of those. If you don't have one of these which we recommend, then your problem. So I didn't manage to play for a week now and it makes me quite frustrated. Like six days ago, my display port adapter, which you get with the whole set of the Rift S, uh, it fell apart, like literally fell apart after one, one and one and a half months. That adapter fell apart. Since then, I walked into the stores, I tried to find it, you can't get it anywhere. I ordered it online, I got uh, one new adapter yesterday, and guess what? It works, but it's not the right solution, you have dots everywhere, so I can't use it. Other problem is that not all Accu cables load your laptop meanwhile you play VR. And since I had to exchange my Accu cable because it nearly burned down my laptop, um, yeah, now I can't play because if I plug it in, my Accu cable won't load my laptop. It's it's just very sad and I mean the Rift S is not very cheap and I have lots of games there which I some of them I played a lot and some of them I wanted to keep for the future and I'm already at that point where I think like to sell the Rift S because there are too many problems. There are like tracking problems, controller problems, um, problems inside the software. Driver has to be updated like every week, maybe twice, and then restart the entire laptop. And then again, just to think like, oh, maybe it works or maybe it doesn't. And if it doesn't, then you search again for bugs and why it is like that. I have searched for hours 
probably let me think for a moment probably i have spent around 12 hours to fix their problems that i mean i shouldn't look what is the problem if like the screen moves with me like um it, it's always hard to explain that because you would need to see it what i mean with that or just like if, if the screen is not here but you hear the music and uh, the controllers, like the tracking problem, what's up with that? And why doesn't the display port work now? Why are there dots now? And all of this kind of stuff, like why doesn't it connect? And what is the problem now? Like constantly, I would say maybe once in a week or twice, I had this problem and then I have to go like and search what's the problem now and actually as a customer this shouldn't be my problem to fix the problem of the Rift S because I don't actually have the time for this. Uh, if I would work with the Rift S I would be fired now already because like it can't be that the display port adapter falls apart after using it for around 80 days. What crap is that? Seriously, Oculus. Like, what? And I have, of course, researched a bit and I know that some people have the same problem as I do. And I have seen pictures where the cable, which is like three meters long, which I showed in the other video, uh, got ripped and you can see the inside cables and that guy didn't do anything else than just playing. Like he, he just moved like around and then the cable already got torn just because of a normal movement. Still, most of the people are, of course, um, that, that don't have problems are happy with that. Uh, I would like to be also be happy with it. And I know from a friend that it works with him. I just don't know why it doesn't work with mine. I mean, I have a laptop that's uh, probably a bit down great from it. But... I mean, I have an MSI laptop, I'm VR ready, I don't see what the problem is here. I just see that something got sold expensively and it is made super cheap. Um, I mean, I, I don't know what to say to that. I'm actually thinking of selling it or just like, I, I don't know, or sending it back or something. It's just, it, it disturbs me a lot because I, I really like to play with it and <laughs> yeah, and I was very good at Beat Saber and it was just a part of my daily life basically but <laughs> I mean display port adapter fell apart I can't play with it and now my aqua cable doesn't load and like I said all the problems that it has it's it's just it's it's very sad like I, I always had this feeling first first time when I tried it it was always like awesome then i felt like okay it's still very nice but there are many things that has to be still done and it's still like something that has to be improved and now i'm very sure that things have to improve but just don't use crappy material which fall apart after just a few days and like I said, for 
customer like me, it's a lot of money that I spend in that, which, like, I paid 500 euros, and I would say from that what I know now, I would pay 150 from all the problems what it has and the material that it's made it's not worth 500 euros now and that's my statement to the rift is for now i i still don't know what i do with it like i said i'm very sad about this and I try to fix the problem since a week, but yeah, I have many games on it. I spend games over 100 euros on it, and if I can't play it and I can't return it, because in the Oculus store you can only return it in the next two weeks, and only if you haven't played it a lot. But um, there are many games there which I haven't played a lot, which I would like to play in the future. But um, I felt more like I wasted a lot of money now because I can't get to the games. I can't play them. Yeah, I feel a bit... Um, That my money got used for something that even food would be probably more um, useful than this. But um, yeah, my last week didn't go that well anyway. So let's hope it will get better. But thank you for listening and hearing me out. Maybe if someone is interested to buy a Rift S. Just make sure that it works. And I can say that if you have a laptop, it's probably not worth it, even if it says it's VR ready. And I, for myself, I need a laptop because I'm traveling always a lot and I can't travel with a big PC. So, yeah, I just have bad luck with that, I guess. Well, thanks for listening and see you in the next video. Bye!